everyone. Welcome to Teach First NJ. Today, we will discuss the Danielson Framework Domain 1B. Domain 1 deals with the planning and preparation. 1A deals with demonstrating knowledge of content and pedagogy. 1B deals with demonstrating knowledge of students. 1C deals with setting instructional outcomes. 1D deals with demonstrating knowledge of resources. 1E deals with designing coherent instruction. 1F deals with designing student assessments. Let's discuss Domain 1B. Domain 1B deals with demonstrating knowledge of students. Knowing the students helps teachers engage students in learning. Component 1B is important in the classroom because as teachers, we cannot simply spout knowledge. We have to know the strengths, needs, culture, interests, abilities, preferences, and development of our students in order to be teachers of impact. Every age has different characteristics of development, and it is our job as teachers to find those out. In order to connect to what students already know, teachers have to find out what students have learned and where there might be errors in thinking. Realize that teachers are learners too. Each student brings in non-curricular knowledge from their life outside the classroom, which can help their fellow students and the teacher learn new things. Students also each have different interpretations of material, events, and activities because of sociocultural influences. By knowing students, Teachers can develop a relationship of trust and impact in learners' lives. Elements of 1B Knowledge of Child and Adolescent Development Intellectual, Emotional, Social, and Physical Knowledge of the Learning Process how do students' individual learning styles, strengths, and talents allow them to relate to this material? Knowledge of students' skills, knowledge, and language proficiency. Knowledge of students' interests and cultural heritage. Use in-class activities. Display knowledge of student cultural heritage. Knowledge of students' special needs. Be able to adapt and differentiate lessons. Lists of accommodations made for individual students. Lists of modifications made for students with IEPs and 504s. Examples of differentiation in the classroom. For example, different handouts, exercises, assignments geared for specific learning groups. Examples of instructional scaffolding in the classroom. I hope you found today's video helpful and thank you for watching with me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.